In this video we are going to talk about how to connect Bose SoundTouch 10 to TV. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Including a music collection that is kept on a NAS drive or a personal computer. When you add your music library to your SoundTouch account, it makes it simple for you to play the music you already own through your SoundTouch speakers. You have the option of accessing music that has been stored on either a computer or a NAS drive. One of the advantages of using NAS drives is that they are constantly on and can be accessed. Thus, your music is always available. Find out how to access music that is stored on a NAS disc or on a computer that utilizes iTunes or Windows Media Player by doing some research into the matter. It is important to note that the software does not support the addition of music libraries that are saved on mobile devices. Establishing the Internet Protocol Address A product's ability to communicate on a network is enabled by a unique collection of numbers known as an IP address. This address may come in handy when performing advanced configuration or troubleshooting. Including a SoundTouch system that is already installed on your network in your account. You have the option of adding a SoundTouch system to your account if it is connected to your network but is not already linked to your account. This gives you access to additional features within the SoundTouch app and enables you to group the system with any other SoundTouch systems that you have in your account. Re-establishing a connection with a Bluetooth registered device that was previously established. Your Bluetooth product has a memory that allows it to recall the most recent Bluetooth devices it was paired with, allowing it to swiftly and automatically reconnect to those devices. This is helpful if your product connects to a different device when you turn it on, or if you simply want to switch to a different device. If your product does connect to a different device when you turn it on, this is also helpful. Setting up the SoundTouch application on a personal computer, either a Mac or a PC. You can optimize the performance of your SoundTouch system by downloading the free Bose SoundTouch app and using it to configure it. Utilize the app to accomplish tasks such as adding music providers, grouping numerous systems, accessing advanced settings, and more. Find out how to get the app on your personal computer, whether it's a Mac or a PC. Eliminating a music library from use. Your SoundTouch account allows you to remove a music library that you have already uploaded to the service. If you decide to stop using the library, this makes it easier to structure your app. Registering for an account with iHeartRadio. Your Bose account gives you access to a range of streaming content, and you may expand your options by adding music providers. It is important to note that music services can differ depending on your location. Putting your product through its paces. Discover how to properly install your product, connect its many parts, and make the most of all of its capabilities by reading the included instructions. Configurations of the router that are recommended for use with Bose Wi-Fi products. It's possible for router configurations to restrict network traffic, which can lead to communication problems between apps and networks. If you are having problems with your network, consider changing these settings to see if it improves the performance of your Bose product. Creating an account with Deezer. You can have access to a range of different streaming content by adding music services to your Bose account. The availability of music services differs from region to region. Adjusting the sound on the TV so that it is in sync with the system or with the grouped speakers. In the product settings section of the Bose mobile app, you will find a sync option. When playing audio from a video source, such as a TV sports channel, to a group of Bose speakers, this is useful information to have. You have the choice of using the sync feature to determine whether the group speakers are going to play in sync with the picture on the TV or whether they are going to play in sync with all of the other group speakers. It is advised that the sound be synchronized with the picture on the television if individuals are able to watch television while listening to accompanying audio on group speakers. It is recommended to sync the sound with all of the group speakers if having a synchronized performance from all of the group speakers is more vital than having a clear picture on the TV. To configure the soundbar, carry out the following steps. Join the soundbar to the television set. You will find the connector for the HDMI arc on the back of the TV. Note, if the TV does not have an HDMI connector labeled with an ARC designation, you can connect the TV to the soundbar by using an optical cable instead. 
In order for the TV to transfer its audio to the soundbar, the HDMI input must have the functionality known as ARC, which stands for Audio Return Channel. Simply plug one end of the HDMI cable into the ARC connector located on the back of the TV. The other end of the cable should be inserted into the HDMI ARC connector located on the soundbar. Establish a power connection for the soundbar. Connect one end of the power cord to the soundbar's power connection, which is located on the device's rear. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.